Hello everyone, in this session I will talk about how to model a race car platform in MapleSim and how to come up with a proper controller including all solutions to the inverse kinematics and dynamics equations of the model for purpose of real-time hardware in the loop. This work was achieved as a collaboration between MapleSoft and Ansible Motion. As you can see in the agenda, I first introduced you to Ansible Motion, the company which we were collaborated with, and what was defined from them uh, for this uh, project. And then I will continue by listing the challenges involved in this project and the solutions we have chosen. And then the presentation will be ended by demonstrating some results and the brief in product demo. Driving simulator technology is emerging as an integral part of the vehicle development process for motorsport teams and production vehicle manufacturers. And Civil Motion is a designer and manufacturer of a high-end motorsport and road car engineering quality driving simulators. As you can see in the picture on the right, the six degree of freedom motion platform designed by Ansible Motion has its own patented kinematics layout. The advantage of this platform over the commonly used stored platforms is extended linear travel distance, which maximizes the realistic feelings of the driver. So the final target of this project was to come up with the solutions for all joints of this simulator based on the error in the platform. The challenges with this project were dealing with the highly nonlinear accurate system, control system, and also we had to solve for control signals on the actual motion of platform, in this case, the driver's head, and not the actuation points. So Maple and Maple Sim were suited for this project since modeling in this environment is easy and user has an access to parameters symbolically. And that means with help of symbolic and mathematical engine underneath this software, all system equations could be generated by executing some commands. And at the end, when the solutions were obtained, the optimized fast code for the real-time hardware in the loop can be generated from the available tem templates of the uh, tool. These actuators listed in this slides are producing the six degree of freedom motion of the platform. Surge and sway are the longitudinal and lateral linear motions of the platform. Yar is the rotational motion, and the uh, last three actuators are also moving the uh, front and left and right um, corners of the platforms up and down with some linear actuators. Let's just start with modeling of vehicle platform. A fixed frame and a subsystem containing two actuators for surge and sway movements. There are some vertical offsets between the components. As you can see here, with, shown with the rigid body frames. And the prismatic joints are placed as the actuators moving in the X and Y direction. The rotational movements of the torque drivers are going to be converted to the linear motion and are going to drive these prismatic joints. And these um, position sensors are going to read the displacements of each of these uh, prismatic joints, or in this case, we call it actuators and are going to be uh, fed back to our controller. Next, the yaw motion is modeled with another prismatic joint and the revolute joint to provide the required degree of freedom in that direction. And on top of that, the rest of the chassis model 
model consisting of uh, some rigid bodies and rigid bodies frames are going to be um, mounted or attached. And then the full frame uh, are going to be modeled with the extra uh, actuators or prismatic joints at the different subsystems with the, some extra revolute joints and like a syndical um, joints as required. The last step before moving to the controller design was setting the inputs and outputs. As it was requested by Ansible Motion, the inputs and outputs were defined by using signal routing components and different sensors, as you can see, like a velocity, acceleration, and then position sensors. All components demonstrated in previous steps were grouped as the one subsystem, calling it platform, and two other subsystems representing the controller and inputs are part of our model to make the closed loop system. The inputs are set of the desired positions, velocities, and accelerations of the set points of our platform, which in this case is the driver head. That means the um, point, which is defined from CG points of the platform with, um, with some um, vertical offset. Now we are in need of a controller which is responsible for generating the correct torques for all actuators based on the error between the desired and actual position, velocity, and accelerations of the set points. To produce the maximum realistic feeling, this controller block should include the inverse dynamics and kinematics blocks which contain the solutions to the parametrically solved dynamics and uh, kinematics equations. To be able to analyze the model and manipulate the equations to solve for inverse kinematics and dynamics equations, we have moved to Maple. Since Maple Sim is structured on top of the in Maple, the model can easily be linked to the Maple worksheet. On top of the worksheet, you can see um, or you can select the subsystem you want to work with. Then link it to the worksheet using the available Maple API, as you can see here. After loading the model using multi-body uh, package in Maple, you can obtain all informations and equations regarding the selected subsystems, or in the case you want the whole system or whole model. For example, as we knew before, this model has six degree of freedom, as you can see here. And uh, it tells us like it has the 28 generalized coordinates and 22 algebraic constraints. And down here, we have the list of the coordinates, velocities, and acceleration. Then we continue by listing the parameters of the model and initial conditions, and manipulating them to construct the separated list for displacements, velocities, and accelerations. We can also check the process, for example, by substituting these initial conditions back into the position coordinates. And as we would expect, uh, expect uh, we were getting zeros as a result. So using this uh, ability, provided by Maple, uh, we can uh, generate the inverse dynamics 
inverse kinematics for positions and accelerations, and also forward kinematics for positions and velocities as a single blocks, which is going to be substituted back into our controller subsystem. The ability to export the model as a block for different environments is one of the features of MapleSim. A set of equations or code can be exported as a C code, Simulink, S function block, Modelica based custom components, and mm, some other available um, formats. In this case, the C code blocks, including the inverse uh, equations or solutions, were generated directly from uh, Maple worksheets which uh, or where we have done all those equation manipulations uh, right into our right back into our maple sim model and as you can see under this definition palette here we have all these blocks generated automatically and all we need to do is uh, dragging them over to the appropriate or proper places of our model which are all under uh, controller subsystem. So just looking under the uh, schematic layout for the controller, five user-defined blocks in the form of the C codes and uh, some of them uh, like a modelica components were created. We have uh, inverse kinematic block here, inverse kinematic for position, and then forward kinematic block. Uh, under here, we have forward kinematic positions and forward kinematic velocity. And right here, we have inverse kinematic acceleration and inverse dynamics blocks uh, of the model. So just to finish the model, we have added some probes which generate the system outputs. And so the controller performance can be evaluated by looking at the, uh, what these probes are showing us. In this slide, some results are presented. The four left plots are um, comparing the desired versus actual positions and velocities of the set points or driver's head, which you can see they are all agreeing with each other. And then the right two plots show the actuator plot and um, forces. In this, uh, slide on the left you can see the 3d representation of the platform simulating in the maple sim environments and on the right you can see the actual hardware in action which was designed by ansible motion and uh, using the maple sim generated codes At this point, I will switch to MapleSim and do an in-product demo. In this demo, I will go over the simpler example to show how easy we can obtain the inverse kinematics equations and generate the required block for our model. As I just mentioned before, uh, the Stuart platform is also the widely known mechanism, um, which has six hydraulic legs as you can see in this picture, connected from one side to the ground via the uh, universal uh, joints and from the other side to the platform via uh, spherical joints. Now I will show you what we can do using the general uh, purpose symbolic computational environment. I want to solve for inverse kinematics of the, uh, each leg of this model. But before, let's investigate the model itself. So as I was, uh, I've mentioned before, the legs are uh, fixed to the ground via um, 
this universal joint and uh, they are all uh, share, uh, sharing the common um, platform and uh, using the spherical joints on the other end and these prismatic joints uh, in the middle is going to act as an actuator so we are in need of the uh, inverse kinematic block which accepts the x y z which are the coordinates of the center of the platform and um, giving us or producing the required uh, positions or the length of each of these legs to um, get into the desired position. Now I am opening the worksheet or a maple worksheet which uh, was used to uh, solve this uh, inverse kinematic uh, problem. As you can see on top of the worksheet over here, uh, we ha have the model. And if we are looking for any uh, specific subsystem, we can select it, the subsystem which uh, is going to have a, like a inputs and outputs. So there is a two-way communication between these two softwares, as I mentioned in the uh, my slides. Uh, running the link model commands, it's gonna link this worksheet to the Maple Sim model. And um, there are some APIs which we have used here to uh, generate the equation. In this case, I just ran both API commands at the same time. So I linked the model and then got the multibody equations and information of the system. Um, again, we have like six degree of freedom as we knew before. And this model has 24 generalized coordinate system and then uh, coordinates and then uh, 18 algebraic constraints. Down here, as you can see, S1 to uh, S6 are representing the length of each leg, uh, alpha and beta 1 to alpha and beta uh, 6 are representing the orientations of the leg. And here, this uh, x, y, z, uh, and uh, last three parameters are uh, representing the, uh, again, the positions and orientations of the platform. Jacobian is one of the uh, comments in multibody package. This, uh, the symbolic constraint Jacobian, which is the partial derivative of the constraint equations with respect to the modeling coordinates. As you can see, if I run this command, uh, I can generate automatically the symbolic equation for this system. That's great, but as you can see, it's very large and confusing. So here is another tool provided by Maple to inspect the system coordinates. And if I right click on this uh, uh, output and then going through here browse, it lets me to inspect the structure of these uh, equations. So over here, we have a representations of the uh, system. While if I go to the image uh, tab up here, it gives me the clear view of the structure. So this structure is the function of set of the coordinates we uh, chose to model the system. So these rows are representing the 18 constraint equations while the columns are representing the 24 uh, coordinates. Each equation is derived based on the um, 
coordinates. So everything in black has the value or function in it, while everything in white is symbolically zero at all times. So dark black columns, as you can see here and here, are motion of the platform, the translational and the angular motion, while the, this diagonal uh, blacks are representing the S1 to S6 and then alphas and betas for each leg. So the output of the last step was to figure out that the only shared coordinates among all legs is the platform. Each leg equation is separated from the others, as you can see here. Continuing on, I'm going to verify that the constraints for all legs are symbolically identical. If that is true, that means I only need to solve one set of these three equations in generic way, and then I will get a generalized solution for all the legs as a function of parameters for each individual leg. Because I'm in a symbolic environment, I can use the substitute uh, commands, as you can see here, and ask to match the parameters between parameterized equations, and then match the variable names and run the subtract uh, command, and see what's the difference between like the constraints, position constraints, for the leg one and leg two. And as you can see here, I got zeros, which means these legs are identical. An intermediate step, I will level the platform and uh, then uh, when system is simplified, then uh, I will need to solve for three equations as you can see here, as a, like a constraints equations for one leg. And then uh, to find out uh, what parameters are available in each of these equations, I can use one of the, again, API commands available in Maple in depth. Um, give me the list of the parameters in each of the equations here. So here in this, uh, Big list, I have three equations as I mentioned, and here uh, Maple tells me which parameters are in which of these um, equations. As you can see in the first one, we have alpha, beta, s, x, y, z. So looking at all three, x, y, z are shared, which are available data, x, y, z uh, coordinates of the platform. But uh, to find out, uh, what are, what are going to be the orders of solving these equations? We can see like in this one, the second equation, we only have alpha, which should be solved. So that's gonna be the first equation we are going to solve. Then when we have an alpha, we can go to the third equations in our list and solve for beta. And when we have alpha and beta, then the solution for S is going to be obtained easily. So writing them in the order, alpha, beta, s, we are telling Maple to solve for second, third, and first equations in the order. And then uh, we're going to save each of these uh, solutions. So moving down, now we have this equation. It would be great if we can send them right back to our Maple C model from the Maple environment. So uh, we're going to use the maple to modelica comment. Before using that comment, we only need to define the parameters, which are going to be a set for our block. In this case, uh, we have x and y, the coordinates of uh, the location of the leg attachment uh, attached to the ground. And then for the uh, um, platform uh, fixed frame, uh, fixed uh, point to the leg. 
and also the orientation of the lake. So these parameters are going to be defined as a one list. Then we need to define the inputs and output ports of our block, which have been done here. So X, Y, Z of the platform as an input, and then um, S, alpha, and beta as an output of our uh, inverse kinematic block. And then using the equations defines up there, parameters and constraints, we can uh, send everything as a single block. So I'm just going to run this command one by one. And the last one, head component model, which is going to produce our block. Here the message says, like, uh, uh, do you want to overwrite the previous uh, components since I had this block in my model? I'm going to say yes. And if you, know, uh, you have noticed under here on definition components, we'll have the block which we just created from Maple environment. And then you can drag it over. And then you have the solution to the inverse kinematics. Uh, equation for your model. If you are not familiar with Modelica, it is an uh, object-oriented declarative uh, multi-domain modeling language for component-oriented uh, modeling of complex systems. And as you can see here, it's uh, our Stuart platform in motion based on the kinematics, inverse kinematic solutions we got for it. At the end, I just want to summarize what I have uh, presented in last uh, half an hour. So uh, a high fidelity six degree of freedom vehicle or plant model was created in MapleSIM. Then a precise uh, controller, which could handle all the nonlinearities, was designed to solve for all actuation motions based on the platform desired uh, positions. So uh, it was done by using the symbolic advantages of the maple maple scene, uh, and then they have generated the forwards and inverse kinematics and dynamics blocks for this controller. And uh, having the uh, fully satisfied controller, a fast optimized code for real-time simulation and halving the loop was produced. Uh, through the in-product demo, I showed you how easy it is uh, modeling in MapleSIM and how uh, you can use the Maple for manipulating all the system equations and solving for inverse kinematics uh, problems or getting the solutions of the inverse kinematics. And some results have also been presented.